praises our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world everybody calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweshai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweshai. Meaning he is the deliverer, he saves. Bahashem in the name, Bakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one rule world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and the truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters. Shalom, many peace be unto you. It's Brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto. Here's another lesson. And we'll get right into it. Right? The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. First Corinthians 15, verse 24, and it reads. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to power. Right? And who's that he? Yahweh Shai. He's going to deliver the kingdom to his father. Right? The kingdom of heaven, which will be on earth as it is in heaven, and which shall reign forever. And the saints shall possess the kingdom. The saints shall take the kingdom. Daniel 7 verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. And who are the saints? The Israelites, beginning with the elect. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, right? Yahweh is kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. An everlasting kingdom, right? And all dominions shall serve and obey him, right? Every, every dominion, every, everything, every heathen nation, every rulership, every kingdom shall be in subjection and servitude to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? Joint ears, the elect being the joint ears. Romans 8, verse 17. And it reads And if children, Romans 8, verse 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with, with our spirit that we are the children of. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? The Spirit, the Spirit contained these scriptures, the volume of the book, right? It beareth witness with our spirits, right? If you could, if you could receive these scriptures, if you can receive this understanding, right? That means the Spirit is bearing witness, the Spirit, the volume of the book is bearing bearing witness with your spirit. Meaning what? You are the children of power. Sons of God, Yasharala, He prints power. And if children, then heirs, heirs of power, and joint heirs, let's look at his word, heirs, right? The kingdom. Strong G 2818. Strong's G, 2818, Kleranamas, Kleranamas. In the Greek, one who receives by lot an heir, an heir. In Messianic usage, one who receives a lot of possession by right of sonship. One who has acquired or obtained the portion allotted to him, right? And what is Jacob's portion? 
we just read that the saints shall be shall 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 shall, shall be given the kingdom. Right? The saints being Israelites, beginning with the elect and the strongs. From G two eight one nine and the base of G three five five one. In its original sense of partitioning, i.e., reflexively, getting by apportionment, a share by lot, i.e., inheritor, literally or figuratively, by implication, a possessor, heir. Right. So. This is the is this is what the elect men of the Lord. The elect begin with the elect. The saints, this is their portion. Joint heirs with the with, with the son, Yahweh Shai. First Corinthians fifteen verse twenty four. Then come at the end when we Salakia, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to power, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, right? Yahweh Shai is coming to put down all rule all authority and power right scripture says on his head were many crowns let's get that real quick revelation 19 verse 11 the points in 12 it says here the coming of a mashiach and I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. Right, that white horse is a chariot, the fathership of the world, even to cause you a foes. The ships. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Right, that's Yahweh Shai. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Right, Yahweh Shai is coming in righteousness to judge and make war. His eyes were, here's the point, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. The many crowns are symbolic of all the rulerships. The Lord Yahweh is going to take them all out, put them under his feet. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, right? And that's going into his rank. Yahweh Shai has a rank that no one else has. No angel. No elect men of the Lord. Yahweh Shai has his rank. Back in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 25. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Right? Yahweh Shai is going to put all, all nations beginning with you Edomites under his feet subjection here's the point the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death right scriptures say oh death where is thy sting right the elect men of the Lord will be immortals right the saints will be immortals New bodies, laws written in their inward parts, never to suffer from death again. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51. Behold, and this is Paul speaking, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed, the new bodies. For this corruptible, this flesh, these chains of darkness, right, must put on incorruption. Precept Jude 1 Verse 6 and it reads 
and the angels which were kept, Salakia, and the angels which kept not their first estate, the sons of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the sons of Adam, the Israelites, right, kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, right, the father began with, with, with our forefather, Adam. He hath reserved an everlasting change under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day, right? The everlasting change under darkness of these bodies, right? The corruptible. First Corinthians. Fifteen. First Corinthians fifteen. Verse 53, for this corruptible was put on incorruption, and this mortal was put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Here's the point. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Right, so death is going to be done away with. For the elect, for Israelites, beginning with the elect. All right. Immortality. Perfect bodies. Never to age. No more wrinkles. No more death. No more illness. All right. Right, this is after the destruction, man. Right, the 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 the, the incorruptible putting on the the the, uh, the the corruptible putting on incorruptible will be when when we're drawn or when we're caught up into the chariots. Cause these bodies, we just read it. These bodies, these bodies can't do it. Isaiah twenty six. Isaiah 26 and 20, come my people, enter thou into thy chambers, right? The people being the elect men of the Lord, the one for four, the body of believers, which is the one third, the body of believers being the helps, the women, the children, the one for four being the men, the governing bodies, the chambers being the chariots, right? Beamed up into the chariots and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed, right? Because the Lord's coming to melt this place with laser beams from the chariots. And the missile is going to be flying, pounding America the Great, Babylon the Great. Simultaneously, the elect are going to be beamed up into the chariots until the indignation be overpassed. Indignation meaning righteous anger. The Lord's coming to destroy this place, man. America the Great is going to be laid waste, desert animals. Right. So when the when, when the beaming up takes place, that's when you get the new bodies. Revelation twenty one, verse four, and it reads, "And power shall wipe away all tears from their eyes." The elect. The one third, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, right? New heavens and a new earth. Right? The former things are passed away. This, all this as we know, it's going to pass away, man. Right? Revelation uh, 20.
verse 13, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell, hell being the grave, hell being a condition, deliver up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell, right, hell being the grave, hell being the condition, were cast in a lake of fire, the lake of fire, the missiles that are going to pelt Babylon the Great, America the Great. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, right, the two thirds, right, these heathen nations, right, were cast, Salakia, was cast into the lake of fire, right, the missiles. The lake of fire is the missiles. Right, the besom of destruction, purifying agent, the fire. Right. So that stay prayer to prayer ceasing. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great most of them who teach one rule well. Salawan to the hopeful elect.